this is how to fix the controller support on Assassin's Creed 2 with the Uplay version. Uh, I do not know how to specifically do that with the Steam version. You'll have to consult forums. I will link this because it does seem to mention the Steam, uh, Steam version in here. This forum, there's a couple different people that have some fixes, but for me, it did not work. I had to use a different thing called Eagle Patch, which will also be linked. And so after you download it, you'll download here. If you never used GitHub, you click on that and then you click on the RAR and then it'll download it. It has a specifically a fix for AC1 and AC, AC2. And then you also need to download this ASI uh, loader thing as well. But before you do that, make sure to verify files in case you try to mod it, use other mods or community patches or whatever to try to fix it. So always do that first. And then let's go ahead and I'm opening up the folder. This is how you get to it. So you click on the cog, properties, installation, open folder, and that'll open up the installation folder right here. So following the steps, yeah, how, I don't know how to say his name. Sir Gunner, I don't, yeah, I'm, I'm not, I'm definitely saying that wrong. But you are also going to need WinRAR, a way to extract the files. So you're going to extract this, open with WinRAR, and you are basically, you don't need to buy WinRAR, that's fake news. So you're going to use, drag two of these files into the script folder of this, which you will create. And then you are also going to take the uh, file, the D, this DLL file that comes from the ASI loader, and then also put that inside of the actual directory of the game itself, which is, you'll know it's right way because it has the Assassin's Creed 2 game.exe right there. But then you'll, inside the actual scripts folder is where you'll put the two files that you download from the GitHub link that you get from the patch part. And so you'll dump, put both of those in the directory. Uh, make sure you go into the INI file and adjust the settings that you want to have. So if you want to skip uh, launch cutscenes, make sure you swap trigger. This is a way to swap triggers if you're having issues with uh, simultan simultaneous uh, trigger inputs. This is a way to fix that. You can you will just change this one to a zero and then click file and save. And then there's a couple different things to change if you need to change them. But after you uh, put both of those in, you shouldn't need to do anything else. Now I'm going to launch the game and prove that it actually works. All right, I'm using my controller currently. I'm hitting A, and then if you go to customize controls, it should actually show uh, X, B, Y, and A. It shouldn't just show. It will say, if it's not working, it'll say like button zero or button one and so on. Um, I will, I'm specifically using this controller, so if I'm not using a default Xbox One controller with a dongle, this is a, a third party controller, so I can't speak on if actual Xbox controllers will work. But, all right, if there's any questions or any fixes that someone finds, please put them in the comments, and hopefully this fixes your problem.